So today I thought I'd take a bowl that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, and it was a fairly good sized bowl, so I thought I'd make frit. I did some with a hammer, some with a little frit crusher. Um, in the end I got, uh, let's see here, I got about this much. That's pretty nice. I still need to go through it with a magnet because it's really just kind of a mix of fine, medium, and coarse. Um, my powder is sitting on a paper plate. Uh, but I still, for the majority of the part, I had a lot of larger chunks like this. And they would work for casting like the flowers, I'm pretty sure, but I really wanted something finer. I've done the Nutribullet before and I've, I've shown video on that. And it works, it's just picking out little pieces of plastic uh, from the cup, usually more so than the blade. But someone had suggested adding water, so I thought I'd try that today. And so far, I'm liking the results. Um, this is after a couple of runs, so my water looks kind of cloudy, but I don't care. I'm not going to dump this down the drain, don't worry. Uh, when I'm done, I'll just soak it up with some paper towel, most likely throw it in the garbage. Um, but what, and then in the bottom of my bowl here, what I'm doing is I started with just a little more water than that, so I'm sitting in the bowl. Um, but I'm just starting with some water, adding some of this broken glass. don't want to fill it more than the max. And I, think I can just add all of that and still be safe. So I'm still within the max for the Nutribullet. Uh, but what I'm going to do is take this over to the Nutribullet and run it. Let's take a look at this. So I placed a stainless steel colander that, ha, huh, originally I bought it to try to do the uh, heat it up and plunge it into water method. My first little colander like this did not hold up. I had a feeling it wouldn't, but it works great for this because I'm trying to drain water off of this frit. So here's what I have from that round in the Nutribullet. quite a bit of good frit. Now, it's really wet, so what I think I'm going to do next is actually just take this upstairs to the oven, lay it out on maybe some parchment paper on a cookie sheet, and just dry it for a little bit. Um, I could just air dry it as well. I'm not going to need it for a few days. Um, but anyway, that is my latest experiment with making frit from an old project that didn't turn out. I thought I would show the Nutribullet, uh, the blade piece, after a few times. This has been used for fret before. Uh, the last time I did some was when I lost big chunks of the plastic in there. Uh, but the blades themselves have been holding up quite well. I will run a magnet through all of my fret once it's dry, but in general, uh, these things hold up pretty well. So aside from the plastic that does tend to flake away, uh, another reason why I like to kind of sift through it I do have the frit sifting set here. Um, but here is my frit, uh, wet right now, but I am going to probably just spread it out onto a cookie sheet and dry some of that moisture out of it. 